Hey everyone, this is my first video and I'm going to share my salmon fishing experience here in the greater Vancouver area. Now I've been fishing for around eight years, so I'm no expert, just an amateur who got hooked to salmon fishing when I had my first fight. So as you can see, I'm fishing off the Vetter River. And the method we are using is float fishing as we cast, drift, reel, and repeat. It really is a mind blanking process. Although for me, it gives me space and time to relax and think about good things. The gear I'm using is my old Shimano Corrado Baitcaster and Shimano Convergence Rod. Now this setup is the first and only setup I have, hence being an amateur fisherman on a budget. Speaking about amateur, so this happens. It happens to fishermen all sometimes, and it's a snag. I wasn't paying attention and overcast to the other side of the river, so my hook caught on a branch. When this happens, it sucks. Yeah, I don't like the thought of losing gear, but it's embarrassing. So my pride takes a hit on this one. Either way, got to do my best to get this loose. So I'm still tugging away at this snag here. Um, eventually I'll get it loose. I'm using, oh, there it goes. So I got it out, thankfully. I uh, got to make sure my leader, leer, and hook is still there. So I'm using my custom gold spinner, which is strange for most people at this time because they're using bro. But I have caught coho with this and thought to try it out today. So there it is. So I'm out here with my two other buddies and we found a place that's not too crowded on the Vetter and uh, just decided to try this spot out. So here uh, my buddy Andrew has a fish on and when this happens other fishermen should give him space to fight the fish. Thus all of us are reeled up. Oh, there's a jump. And we'll see it again, close up. Nope, hi. So all of us are watching Andrew fight the fish. It's not easy to land a salmon, but for Andrew it's not a problem as he is quite experienced. I think he is enjoying the fight more than trying to land it. So fighting for salmon, uh, we have to use barbless hooks and this makes it more of a challenge because the salmon can fight their way out. It's quite the sight to see and um, quite the experience if you manage to get one hooked up. Oh, almost there. And off he goes. So just a recap of what happened. Andrew saw the fish and he was going to land it. And he saw that, hey, it's a Chinook. It looks like a decent size. going to keep it. But it escaped. And it happens uh, sometimes, and for him, probably it happens uh, not too often because he is experienced, but he was going for the fight rather than the catch. So probably what happened was the fish was about to land, it got really spooked and did a latch ditch effort to escape, and so off he went. So after that, uh, we went back to casting, letting it drift, reeling back in the same routine. Here we have another, my other buddy, Stone. He has a fish on. He's all business. He's going to land the fish. He saw it. Okay, decent size. Chinook. All right, landing it. So he lands it. So here we have Stone's perspective. Sorry that the angle is off and there's rain droplets around the lens. But at least you can see the bent on his rod. So because of the angle of the camera, you can't see uh, the Chinook being landed. But later on, I'll show you the picture of his fish. So here's the picture of his fish. It's a Jack Chinook meaning that it's a little smaller size male 
And from what I know, jacks return stream earlier, hence their size. It's a nice looking fish. Too bad I didn't get to take a picture of the red meat, but this guy is going to be a nice snack for Stone and his boys. So I didn't manage to get any fish, but I did enjoy the day back on the river. So hopefully I can come out again and get some action so I can show you guys more footage. And that is it. So hope you guys enjoy the video. Take care.